Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new video. Today we'll be talking about the newest episode of Pokemon Horizons. We just returned from the two week break that we had and now we're finally going to get into the story of Liko and Roy meeting up with Liko's grandmother. So I wouldn't lie, not too much happened today. I mean there was a lot of dialogue but in terms of the actual plot, not much really happened. All that really happened in this episode was Liko, Roy, and Freed meeting up with Liko's grandmother in her kind of secret little castle. They have to go find, like, find a stone journer and everything, and she has all these Pokemon in the forests and in her house, I guess, like, to keep watch over everything. And yeah, so we see them go to the... to find them in this castle, and long story short, they pretty much just talk the entire time. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, of course, if you understand the dialogue, it's probably important and very much valuable information, but of course I don't really understand what was being said, so for me it was kind of just a lot of talking. But I mean, there's gonna be subs for this probably very soon, so it'll be, you know, you can just watch it with subs later. I usually just don't do that, I usually wait for the dub anyway, but long story short, let's not even ramble here. Um, not too much action-based happens, what I'm trying to say. There wasn't too much, you know, active, you know, battling or traveling or anything happening today. It was mainly just getting information from Diana where she basically reveals that, I mean, of course, we already knew she's had the pendant since she was a child and she's been just traveling. I believe it was implying that she was traveling looking for Terrapagos, but of course Terrapagos was the pendant because she found the pendant as a child and she saw Terrapagos in a book, but I'm not sure if she realized that Terrapagos was the pendant itself, so maybe she was looking for it. I'm not too sure, I didn't really get the gist of that, but long story short, she, you know, they show her that Terrapagos is now, I mean, the Pendant has now transformed into Terrapagos, and they're all just here now, talking, discussing things. And also, they ask her about the mysterious Pokeball that Roy has, but I'm pretty sure she didn't know anything about that either. So, yeah, long story short, they pretty much just talk and then eat, and at the very end of the episode, the explorers show up. And before that, in early in the episode, we do see those other explorers, you know, the girl who I really liked, the designer, I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now, because it's been so long since they first showed her, and then now... But yeah, they showed her and the other guy with the Garganacle. They didn't show the other lady. They only showed the two, the guy, the big buff guy with the Garganacle, and the girl with the pink hair who has Glalie. But uh, yeah, so they showed them in the like early on in the episode, talking to the boss. I'm really bad with these guys' names. You know, I really don't care too much for the explorers, so I don't really remember much of their names. But yeah, we saw them at the beginning, and also we saw in a flashback from Diana that she knows that the boss that we've seen from the explorers. So she knows him, but we don't know what their relationship is yet. I'm assuming we're gonna get into that in the next episode because the explorers show up at the very end. The um Amethio, Zer and Konya, or Zerk and Anya, whatever their names are, they show up at the very end at the castle because they end up finding their way. And they're gonna get into a battle next time. So all this was basically set up for the next week's episode, which is good. Again, you know, I really like how this show has, you know, this set up in that episode by episode, everything is leading into the next. So all that is great, fine and dandy. But like I said, the kind of downside to that is that not much really happened here. The action seems to be that's going to happen next week. So that's good to know to look out for. So yeah, long story short, this episode was pretty much just set up for the next. And next week we're going to get into Liko, Roy, and Free, and I'm guessing Diana battling the explorers. Not just Amethio, Zerk, and Anya, but also the other two who are going to show up. So all that will be, I guess, you know, happening next week. So that's good to know. But yeah, long story short, that's pretty much just it for this review so yeah you guys can let me know what you guys think are you excited for diana oh and by the way i guess i can mention since this review hasn't been too long yet diana is apparently going to join the bull tacklers at least for a short period in the next few episodes it mentions in the summaries that she's gonna join them on the ship i'm not too excited for that i'm actually kind of annoyed by that because i personally think the crew is already too large we already have freed's you know original crew who barely do anything they just exist and just take up space if you ask me. And now Diana's gonna join. And you know, we barely even see Dot as it is, you barely see Ludlow as it is, most of these characters. There's just so much of them. I really hope Diana isn't on the ship for too long. But she will be joining them at least for a little bit. So that might be good for a short while to find out some mysteries of Tobacco Ghosts. But yeah, I'm hoping it isn't too long lasting. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Overall, that's pretty much it for this episode. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys Think. Are you excited for the future since we're going to be focusing more on the next arc, focusing on Trapkos? Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you all next week. Thank you!